What happens when you get the best deck pendulum and the second best deck tournament and combine it into absolute greatness? You got this video, that's what you got. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how Odd Eyes Tier Limit is the craziest combination since me and Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's go! If you guys ready for this video, I just gotta smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Also, limited time only! Mighty Master Playmat Sleeves. Mighty Master Sleeves. And Mighty Master Playmat on www.tripgaming.com. Go check out down in the description below. You get your sleeves with Sleeve Chief. That's our sponsor of today's video. As well, you get the most awesome, awesome playmats of all time. With that being said, it's time to show you guys the synergy. The synergy is absurd. Let's go. You might be thinking, what's the synergy, Trip? What is the synergy? Well, you guys are about to witness it right now. You need to stay tuned to the end of the video because this video is going to blow your mind. Uh, this is going to be a two-card combo. So this hand is combo, obviously, by itself. But I want you guys to see how this goes with just a two-card combo. All we need is Auto Revolution Dragon and Lubellion. That's it. Broken. Two-card Billion Negates. Do you know any other deck that can put up a billion negates to two cards? No, not four negates or five, a billion. Yeah, that's how many negates you're going to put up. So, what we did there, did you see that, guys? Did you see that? Or, or, or am I going too fast for you guys? What I just did there was I actually looped Rod Eyes Revolution Dragon a second time because of the Bisted cards. You go Revolution Dragon to search Chaos Emperor Dragon. You use a Bisted card to banish the, the, the Rod Eyes Revolution Dragon. And then you use the Chaos Emperor Dragon to add back the same Revolution Dragon that just used its effect. And then, because it's not a once per turn card, you could use Auto Revolution Dragon for a second time. This is Dark Worm. And guess what? What do, do, do you guys really think this video was just, oh, trip, bro. Ha <laughs> ha, you're, you're so cool, bro. You, wow. You you said Pendulum Odd Eyes, but you, you only played Chaos Emperor and a Dark Worm. Ha 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 ha. Add Gate Zero. Have you heard of the card called Beyond the Pendulum? It's coming soon! It's coming soon! It's coming soon! What's next? So, you're gonna look at these cards now. Whoa, is Trip Gaming going for a rank 8? That's right. What attribute is Auto Revolution Dragon? It's a light. What attribute is all the Bistic cards? Darks. We think of it all here at Trip Gaming. The crazy... I'm, I have a PhD in Yu-Gi-Oh! It's truly... I'm telling you. I literally... There are doctors in the world that are, are not as good as I am. At Doctor Stuff. And Yu-Gi-Oh Stuff! Dr. Trip is here! Let's go! Here we're gonna go with the Zombie Vampire. So you're gonna look into these cards and you're gonna think... Okay, you're gonna think instantly, Trip, 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 Trip. Stop, stop, bro. I don't want to mill my opponent's tier limit cards. That's what you're thinking, right? Shut the hell up. Think something else. Because I'm gonna go ahead and mill four right now, okay? And if my opponent mills a tier limit card, I'm just gonna special summon it. I don't care. The idea of Zombie Vampire... Is that you get to mill out of your 40 card deck. You have like 15 grave effects. So you get to get those grave effects for free. And special whatever the fuck you summon from your opponent's grave. And I, like, I'm actually... I want you guys to see what I'm going to mill here. Okay? Magnemite. Merly. Revolution Dragon Happiness. That's right. We're playing tier limits as I said. So why would you not want to play Chaos Ruler? This is the new Chaos Ruler. So in a deck that... Could bring this card out like every fucking turn. Anytime you get to access to Sauronir or Lubellion or a Sky Iris, Terraforming, Set Rotation, Art of Revolution Dragon. This is just the easiest zombie vampire of life. In combination with other cards to search these cards. So, uh, and Chaos Emperor being level 8. Like, what the? Of course I'm going to play zombie vampire. And now if, you, if, I were to, if my opponent were to mill some tier limits, I'll just special summon the ass. If I milled a fucking Merly... I'll special the Merly and mill three more. I'll mill seven. If I sent a Rhino for my opponent, you ain't using that Rhino effect. I'm using the Rhino effect. My Rhino! Tyrannosaurus! Power Rangers. So, what am I going to do here? I'm not even going to summon my own cards. I'm going to actually pretend to summon one of my opponent's cards. I can summon a Magnemite here. I mean, like, whatever. But, I'm not even going to summon a Magnemite. This could just be a token. I guess imagine Magnemite's a random tier limit I summon for my opponent. It doesn't matter. But for the sake of not having a token, because there's always going to be those bozos that just fast forward the video and don't know what the fuck a token is doing there. So imagine this Magnemite is not even my Magnemite. Imagine it's my opponent's tier limit card. Because even if we were playing tier limit, we're going to do that. Otherwise, I'd rather special the Merly or the Magnemite. We're going to trigger the Havness to get a Starving Venom, Ven Venomy Dragon. Now, now I'm sure you guys can see where the synergy comes in. We specifically detach. I didn't even make like I didn't even make Hikawas here. 
I didn't even need to make the Kekalos. We specifically detached the, the Chaos Emperor because we wanted a Pendulum in the graveyard. And we wanted to make this guy. What's this guy do? Going second, it's literally the new, st the old Starving Venom. Yeah, the banned one. You know, the one that's banned on the ban list for a reason because it's broken. Yeah, this does the same fucking shit. Except this is just from my opponent's cards. And guess what? How do you make it? A Dark Monster? Hello, Tier Limit. And a Pendulum Monster? Hello, half your deck. So now you actually have a 10 times better Mud Dragon. Now you're going to think, okay, Triff, cool. So you could copy your opponent's monster. So, okay, not only going second is this fucking busted, but it copies the opponent's monster effect. It negates its effect, burns it for 500, loses it for 500 attack. This is all huge. Now this is where it's going to get actually extremely interesting. Look at this next play. I'm going to turn these two into Beyond the Pendulum. And guess what? Look at the zones. When th This is a Pendulum monster. It's a fusion Pendulum. The best of both worlds! Pendulum tier limit! Fusion Pendulum! So now, we're gonna go beyond the Pendulum here to such a high scale. And then we're just gonna fucking Pendulum some of these bad boys back out here. That's right, we search Mighty Master. Why did we search Mighty Master? I don't know, maybe because we play a deck that mills 40 times? This is your high scale at all times. You wanna know how to play around, how to break boards? You, this... This is the real Axis Go Talker. That's right. Mighty Master Sleeves, Mighty Master Playmat on TripGaming.com. This is the real Axis Go Talker. I'm going to blow up all, all my opponent's board going second. Do you have any idea how powerful this is going second? I could beat all my opponent's cards with four cards. And the last two cards are Revolution Dragon or Abysted. In fact, it could be any combination of Sky Iris, any combination of Abysted card. And it will end on this board. And now I Pen Summon. Not only am I Pen Summoning these two, but I'm pen also Pen Summoning whatever is in my hand at the time. What do you know? Dragon? Zombie? Spellcaster? Ha! <laughs> Broken. In fact, I didn't even go for Selene. Don't forget that this Mighty Master can hit the field with Selene at any given moment. I don't have enough spells right now. Once I mill like eight times, I will. Curious is going to send... Uh, I think I already sent... No, I sent the Havnius. I, I just left them early there. So I'm going to go Merly. Now I'm going to go to Kikalos. Kikalos. Curious will trigger milling these three. And I'm going to add Grief. So, Tillum and Grief. Does anyone know what this card does? Does anyone know what this card does? Does anyone know the power of this card? I told you guys to stay tuned to the end of the video. And here you guys are. Stay tuned to the end of the video. Now you guys are going to see how broken this shit is. Tillum and Grief is fucking absurd. So, what are you going to do here if, if you were in my position? You, let's say you had Tillum and Grief, okay? Not, just, don't even think about how Mighty Mask could be someone with Selene with more spells. Not even for that purpose. What play do you guys see here? What do you think I'm going to do? Am I going to like... Go till them in grief. Oh, Trip, you're so cool, bro. You're gonna till them in grief. Send Kikalo special Merly. Wow, you're so cool, bro. I, you could have just done the same thing already. No. Oh. What type are all of my cards? Dragon and Darks. Aqua and Darks. Interesting. What's curious? I'm very curious as to what warrior is in my deck that till them in grief can summon. That's right. Vices Starfrost. Guess what? Extra monster zone is clear. Whole Scarecrow combo! Ah! This deck's crazy! This deck's crazy! This deck's crazy! Oh my fuck! It's crazy! And then you think, yo, you think the draw one from a right from right cart wasn't enough? I'm gonna draw two more. Or I'm gonna special the Magnemite. Now, this is what I'm gonna do here. In this scenario, I'm drawing two and discarding one. But I wanna special the Magnema here to show you guys that. It doesn't matter what Zombie Vampire mills. It's fucking irrelevant. You milled, you milled three from Curious. You milled already, uh, like, five times already with other shit. I'm gonna mill eight more times with Kikalos and Merly. Doesn't matter. You're eventually gonna send a, a, a Bisted card. So the idea what I'm trying to show you guys is that this deck synergizes so well together, it's like peanut butter and jelly. It's like Triff Gaming and clapping his opponents. Perfect synergy. So we're always going to, I just wanted to showcase, I want a special Magnemite here, that even if I didn't have access to the Magnemite, I always was going to have access to the Magnemite, even if it wasn't in the original Mills. Does that make sense? We have four Mills from Zombie Vampire, three from Curious, we're going to butt up five from Kikalos, some other shit too. Best deck, for reals. Otherwise, I would go draw two. But I just want to show you guys how it's like, it doesn't matter what you draw. And then I'm going to go into Dark, and then Curious, because Dark is a spellcaster. 
I'm insane, bro. I'm actually insane. And because Dark Souls Podcast, I can now make Mighty Master. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I had seven spells. I'm going to pop the field spell. Don't need it. Mighty Master's there. I'm just trying to create space, bro. I have too many negates. I'm going to go Scare Claw Arrival, Special Vices, and bring out the other Link 1. This is a two-card combo, by the way. And I wanted to show you guys this because I, you need the level 6, the, the one Bisted card, right? You need this. Why? We're going to Beatrice now. This just gets better and better, bro. And next, we're going to go into Apollosa with... I don't, I don't even care to mill. I don't even have a Telemann card in my grave. I, I don't give a fuck. I, I do not need a Telemann card. I'm literally... Just the Kikalos was there to search me my Vice's Starfrost. I don't care. I don't need to hope that I mill. I don't play that type of deck. I got Beatrice. I got Curious. I got real actual sense. I got Zombie Vampire. I don't need Kikalos effect. Kikalos was just a body that got me to Vice's Starfrost. That's all it was. And now I got a free Apoloza. Now I can trigger my Beatrice. Send Sheeran. This will now get me my Lulu Kalaralos. And then I'm going to get rebranded. End phase, I'm going to be able to add myself a very nice Bisted Druid Worm. And now from two cards, on his turn, I could special, I, I will be able to banish from Bisted Druid Worm. I will pop with Branded Beast. Branded Beast, I mean, I'll show you guys. This would be uh, the, uh, this would be the cards I would have in my hand uh, when my turn starts. This would be the, uh, when my turn starts, just so you guys my follow up. These would be my negates on his turn because Beatrice is sending the Dracos to Pelia. Do you guys notice how there's one slot open? I did this on purpose. There will be a first, I will be sending a Druid Worm and Branded Beast. That's one interaction for Branded Beast. Two for Druid Worm because it's going to be a DD Crow. And then when Branded Beast sends it, it'll ban it, send another to Grave. That's three interruptions. Uh, Beatrice is on Dracos to Pelia after the board is clear. Four interruptions. Apaloza, five interruptions. Lulu Karos, six interruptions, and seven interruptions because I said so, I'm, I, because of Mighty Master. So seven interruptions, and I'm going to start my turn after I get my normal draws for turn and rebrand it with six cards. This was all done with two a two-card combo. Now this is the deck list. I know, I know, I, I'm a genius. I know, I know, but I'm sharing this genius with you guys because I love you guys and because you guys subscribe to me uh, because that's what you guys, that's what friends do. Uh, this is the deck list. The idea of it, as you guys saw, was Revolution Dragon and Dark Worm is quite simply just the best normal summon in this entire deck. It's just very simply better than Rhino Heart. You have access to the best link in Yu-Gi-Oh! called Beyond the Pendulum. Do you guys know what this card does? It says, when this card is Link Summon, you win the duel. Not only are you Pendulum Summoning different levels with the level 4 of Dark Worm and the level 7 of Enemy Dragon, you're popping two cards. We're doing that combo just like a combo tutorial. If we're going second here, okay... We we're popping two cards. Like, Mighty Master was popping two more cards because of Selene. We were popping four cards alone with Beyond the Pendulum. Beyond the Pendulum pops four. It's literally an access code. And then you make another access code on top. That's six pops. Like, access code will pop two. Mighty Master will pop two. Beyond the Pendulum will pop, pop two. So the idea of this deck going second is that you use your actual tier limit cards that you just don't give a fuck about. Your Bisted cards. Your Scareclaw cards. You use these cards to bait your opponent's cards. And then... You save one Revolution Drake, just one Pendulum card. That's all you need to save. You don't even need to save the Bisted stuff. That just was a cool combo. You just save your normal summon and one Pendulum card. You normal summon the Dark Worm or Revolution to get the Dark Worm or Chaos Emperor with the Bisted plays. You search the low scale of Gate Zero. Dark Worm and Beyond the Pendulum. Just search the high scale of Beyond the Pendulum. When you play with Tier Limits, you're going to mill. So you're eventually going to mill one of these eight. Or you do the Chaos Emperor play where Chaos Emperor will go to the graveyard when it's detached with Zombie Vampire. And then when you, you get Venomy Dragon, then you just pen summon. Make some like, Beyond Pendulum pop two. Selene, Mighty Master, pop two more. Access code, 53 for access code. Mighty Master, 2800. That's 8100 OTK. And it pops six cards. Last time I checked, there's only six Monster Zones. That's right. Literally best deck. So that's the whole idea behind it. If there was anything I would change, I would not at play a Rhino Heart in this deck. Uh, because, I mean, it's not bad. You can if you want. But I, I really want to keep this version of the deck as close to 40 as humanly possible. Uh, Telem and Grief will always go for Vices. Or it just uh, will act as a Foolish Burial. You really want to get the Revolution Dragon. Like, Revolution Dragon in this deck is literally a, a, like a plus 3. Plus 2 or something. It's truly absurd when you could draw a Bisted card and a Sky Iris. Or a Revolution Dragon. You have six Sky Irises. 
uh, sorry, six revolution dragons because you got Sky Iris, Terraforming, Site Rotation, they which all act as a Sky Iris, and the actual three revolution dragon itself. It's just amazing. I really love this deck. Something else is cool about this deck is that the extra deck, it seems like it'll be super tight. It's actually not. We even have two rank sixes. We have five fusions. My other Tillament uh, decks have like three fusions, four fusions. It's really amazing. How, how, I don't know how this deck synergizes so well, but it just does. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's the deck. I will do more videos like this in the future. As you guys know, I love Pendulums. I love Tillament as well. So this deck was very fun for me to make. I love you guys. If you've got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out the beautiful playmats down below. Check out the sleeves down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.